What, what up, up y'all? It's your boy Dre Hall. Y'all know we back with another video, okay. gang. And y'all see we got that boy Mexican OT, man. Hip Hop's gangster cowboy. Done by that boy Tommy G. Y'all already know how it is, man. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell. Leave us comments below how y'all feel, man. And let's tap in and see what let's Mexican OT got going it. on. I love your energy, bro. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a deep dive into the life of Mexican OT. And Dub, West Columbia, Texas, baby. Texas. Shout out to the Dub. Ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a documentary for Mexico OT. I said for breakfast, I ate zombies. I clean my face with panties. I mixed the fuck with candy. I'm straight out of Texas, like Sam. Let's go! Every now and then, across the landscape of hip hop, a rapper emerges unlike anything we've seen before. These guys are the innovators, the trendsetters. In my childhood, the one of one characters that came to prominence were guys like Eminem, Tyler the Creator, and Chance the Rapper. Today, we have the pleasure of covering one of the most unique artists of the new era. Mexican OT. He's a mixture of country, gangster, and playboy. Mm -hmm. He's got a twang in his voice and a southern charm in his demeanor. When he's not on stage, you're liable to find him riding around on a horse or in his bulletproof Cadillac. He began taking over the scene when he released a diverse range of bangers like Cowboy Killa, Kick Doe Click, Hardest Essay Ever, and of course hit song. Johnny Dane. In this documentary, we take a deep dive into the remarkable life of hip hop's gangster cowboy, Mexican OT. Not everything from this episode is able to be put on YouTube, so click the Patreon if you'd like to see more. It's time. We're on our way to go see Mexican OT. They got a Mexican cowboy taking Texas by storm, taking the world sure. by storm. He's traveling all over LA, New York. He was just on the podcast Flagrant. I always got an onion on me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a man on the move, on the rise. We're going to meet him at a legendary Texas location at Johnny Dane's. We'll see you there. Tommy G. That guy, he's such a idiot. I hate Tommy G. Nah, we just played up, man. Middle Jamma right there. You got like a caravan, huh? Something like that. You were only like the president. Not traveling, man. You guys are busy, huh? Busy as What's busy life like right now? You're traveling, bro. Plane after plane after plane. People think rapping is an easy life. It's not busy at all. Tell me about your schedule the last couple days, dude. Dog, I f***ing slept probably like five hours max. But I love it. Right, so boy. Easy. Just yeah. get up and go. You just sure. were in New York? Yeah. You want flagrant? Now I'm here in Texas and then I gotta be in Cali tomorrow. Yeet! Nah, oh, what's up, brother? That Mexican OG, you look good, my brother. Louis Vuitton, no umbrella, wanna walk through the wine in the kitchen with the chicken, kind of bread like a can of good dog, got a mess, they look like Johnny Dyer, they need money, wanna stick, carry my guy. What is the come up in like? Cause it seems like things are happening awfully fast right now. Man, bro, we started out doing like little bars and little baby ass clubs, you know? Kept working and now we're doing this shit, you know? Okay. Is it kind of mind blowing how fast life is going right now? Nah. I've seen him a few times on stage, just sat back and cried, looked at him and been like, damn, bro, like, look at him. He really doing that, you know? Whose bling is this right here? So we got that man. Mexican OTs, we got his grills, and then you got B Don's chain, the and then you got Jody's big old chain too. So what's on your list of bling you wish to acquire? It's my grill, I don't need much. I feel like my boots and my cowboy head in my jewelry. How long is sure. it taking to feel like you're blowing up? In about two years. Yeah. When did you catch your first buzz? You were like, okay, like I, I see the hole and I'm running through it. When I dropped my first music video, video, like 2019, I, I dropped it and it hit like 40k in a month and got stuck there. And you to totally flew in Spanish. Yeah, nah, this was my first. I can't rap in Spanish, but it, it'll take me a little minute to prepare. Do you plan touring in Mexico? Yeah, eventually, hell yeah. Is touring in Mexico, is that scaring you at all? Like, holy shit, it's gonna be intense. Yeah, yeah, bro, Mexico, wicked right now, you know what I'm saying? Bro? There's beautiful parts of it, I'm not gonna say it's all equal, you know? Just like anywhere, right? Yeah. yeah. This is the next girl I want. You see this one? So the girl right here, this one. You got the bust down Johnny Dane, and then you got the bust down COVID mask. 30,000. Man, that's cool. Okay. When it is charged, you have a fan in there and everything. That's the iconic piece right there. 
Close this is like New Era, that was like the original yeah, era. Right. Oh yeah, this definitely the era. We need to tell Johnny to give it to you. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I like that. What's the weight on that one? That's 1300, I think. 1200. That's 1200. So when rappers say, I got a house on my neck, this is what I'm Literally. That's a house. Like, Literally. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm emptying out the bank account. Sorry, my wife's that sweet bitch. cheeks. But I look nice. good this. <laughs> he also did the blinged out, the hand sanitizer. What's catching your eye on TV? I wear Air Forces and Vegas. So these are the You got the Air Force energy, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can a rapper shop at Walmart and get away with it these days, or they pretty much have to ball? I do. You'll rock a $12 Walmart shirt if it's the right fit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The amount of women in your DMs has got to be absurd for a man to deal with. Men and women. Whoa. Yeah. 2023 is crazy. Yeah. How do you manage all that? I don't even look at it. I don't worry about it. Yeah. Did you ever answer a DM? Every once in a while. Now that you're reaching a celebrity status, or like really, really known that you have to be careful with how you roll around town? I'm chilling. I got an eye on me. Yeah. Are there any Mexican artists that as you were coming up, you're like, I love what this guy's done in the past or that? Yeah, of course. Like, you know, we had Big Flag, we had Lil Bing, SPM, you know, any taste of Mexican legend. You seem like you freestyle through life for the Yeah, I'll take like it day by day. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing away tomorrow. So basically, your man will call you, hey, tomorrow morning we're going to LA. You're like, okay, cool. Let's go. That doesn't bother you. Like, that doesn't, you don't care not knowing where you go a week from now. No, I don't want to have a schedule. Then I'll be feeling like I'm not human. Is there anyone that yeah, is giving you true. really good advice on this journey? Yeah, I was talking to Andrew, Andrew Schultz. He, had, uh, he was telling me some shit, like mentally, like just shit about myself. Nothing really about the business. I just open my eyes on a few things that I should probably look into, you know, when it, when it comes to like, you know, mental health and things like that. When you look at someone that's pop and you think life is so amazing, they're never sad, everything's perfect. You gotta understand, I'm, I still shit the same way you shit. I got problems too, you know? Shit, yes. I probably got more problems than my fans do. You have a tough life growing up. Hell yeah, yeah, but I'm gonna do that. You know, you don't f moan about it. That's your next time to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, what's your death row meal? What, Jay? PBJ? You're simple, man. Hell yeah, it don't take much. Okay. That nigga cool. I'm like, fuck around and pop a jigger. This hoe made me pop a jigger. Fucking on your bitch, I make that little hoe taste. Fallin' that nigga. What are you like? People coming up to you, wanting to take pictures, want autographs. What is that like? It's cool. Does it ever become overwhelming? Hell yeah, when it's a lot of them. Sometimes it gets <laughs> to a point where it's like, man, I don't want to talk. Sometimes I just be, be like that. That's it. That's understandable. Yeah, you know, like, that's understandable, especially if you got a lot of people that's coming up to you. Like you say, he normal. Like, you do the regular stuff you do. You get moody and stuff, too. Like, right. So, hey, I want to meet OT, though, for real. Yeah. For sure. Did you have a really bad breakup? Yeah. Is that based on a true story? Yeah. What was it sure. like getting your heart broken? For sure. What did you learn from that experience? How to deal with shit. Just for like last year. Uh, one of the toughest periods of my life was getting broken up with, but I ended up opening up more doors and I'm glad it happened. Looking back, I'm glad it happened. Right, right, right. I'm so like, very prideful, you know what I'm saying? We got testosterone, that's why we bang on our chest and we're so, you know, prideful and just manly. And women, bro, they don't understand how, how powerful that is, bro. God, dude. Like for real, bro. The power that be, you have so many doors you can open. You can collab with country people, rock. You can go punk. You can go rap. You can go trap. You can go all over the place. What are some collaborations for people you want to work with over the next little bit? I want to work with who my fans want to see me with. You know, like I mostly just pay attention to them and what they want, and that's what I get for. But don't you feel like what you like? Because what you like, you've already made so far, and what you like will continue to. Like, People want to hear it. I like making music like boom bap, but like I gotta give them that jump shit, that club shit that they like, you know? So there's a million people that wanna be <clears throat> blowing up, be a big rapper. What is your advice to them? It's not for all y'all. If you want rap and you can't do it, it's just like your straight up don't work for you, you gotta be able to be true with yourself. And if it f up shit, it's okay to f up. Everyone that's a winner has lost a lot of time. Man, like that's part of this Listen, man. Yeah, okay. hell yeah, that's the sauce. Mm -hmm. This bitch, they should put me in this zoo. Pandemic flow, you would think I got the flu. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what like, he was rapping? Oh, that was Tommy? Yeah, I think so. Oh, he been with the yeah. boys. That was hard, boring and that's what's hard. You. A blind dog gets a bone every once in a while, you know what I mean? My pop used to tell me that. You write, you freestyle, and you mix. I write everything. Were you born in the 90s? 99. 99. 99. So you were about as a young 
I feel like I was grown as I wouldn't come home till like 11 o'clock at night right there. Were you like 10, 11 right there? <laughs> no, nah, I was like 7, 6. That's me, bro. Oh, boy. Look at me. No, boy. So how do you keep your circle tight? Like, how do you, who just wants a piece of you but doesn't want the best for you? No new faces. These boys right here have been the same ones since beforehand. How long have you guys known on team? Too long. Like, Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. That's real. That is real though. While I was gone. What'd you go away for? My mama had died and they knew that if I stayed down here it would have been a no-go. I was gonna live with my dad for a little bit. I was living fast as f that motherfucker. I learned a lot of shit from that motherfucker. He's a badass motherfucker. My everything, man, you know. So when you were a kid, like what was the bad shit you got into? Like were you car hopping? Were you Yeah, definitely. I remember just being bought out doing that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> God wake up with all this new shit. Thank God I never woken up in jail. When you work with rappers, is most of it, hey, send me a verse through email or do you guys go to the studio together? How does that work? Studio together. Sometimes, you know, they'll send it to him and I'll send it back. Like Denzel Curry, he just sent me some shit. I'm finna run that <laughs> Max I was sent me some shit from around that. <laughs> You know? You're definitely, I would say, the most versatile artist we've got to see yet, as far as how many lanes you can go. Yeah, all right. All right, fellas. We're going to bounce there. We'll see you guys soon, okay? For sure, we're going to get with y'all, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second day tour. Yeah. Sold out again. Yeah. You're on a rampage, man. It's getting crazy out here. It's not safe. Hide everybody. Hide your kids. Hide, hide your wife. Yeah. <laughs> it is all going on. Second day, did you enjoy tour? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like this is my favorite part of the career. You know what I'm saying? Just. I love being here with my boys. You know, How are you doing, bro? How are you doing, bro? You remember Brandon Nuts? Look at these biceps. You put that. You remember Brandon Nuts, his boy? No, oh, okay, okay. Did you know he was always going to be a rapper? Pretty yes. much. Oh, yeah. You know what I was telling his homeboys earlier? I was like, man, okay. my son has really found something he's really passionate and loves because I've never seen him work. I've never seen anybody work this hard, period. Because he's the laziest one. Yeah. So I know that he's this. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing because he's out working. Everybody right now. What's up, brother? My guy, how you doing? Good, man. You ready to rumble in there or what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like we should knock out a set of push-ups just to get a little swole for the show, dude. Ain't nobody since I'm smoking that version every time. That man's getting one, that man's getting one. I'm telling you, like, yo, I'm not the man. He's a champion. He's a champion. Push up champion of Chicago, right here, folks. I ain't gonna lie, you got some list though, bro. You been going everywhere, bro. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. everywhere. You be in the hood. You be doing that shit. Dude, I have to say, your son might be the freshest dressed, like six year old I've ever seen in my life. I feel like if you getting fresh as hell and your kids ain't fresh, you was like weak. Like that shit lame, you know what I'm saying? So what does fatherhood mean to you? Loving, teaching, Everything. and just teaching your kids like what to do if you're not there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a time where shit, you're gonna have to let them go. Man. Yeah. Shit, they're gonna do what they wanna do and be on their own, you feel me? Yeah. My yeah. biggest fear is not being able to protect my son or my, or my daughter. My biggest fear is not having toilet paper in there. Uh, what does your dad mean in your life to you? It definitely wasn't a bitch and cream. It was rough as fuck. He did his own way of fathering. You know, he didn't have a, a manual or a handbook on teaching him how to be a father. Neither did I have one of being a kid, so it was rough. But at the end of the day, we could figure it out. So with OG Z. OG Z was doing shows like this, and I was like, bro, like, yeah, I held pride in it because they loved me, but I didn't bring them. And I remember me and Nate were talking about it, and I've been saying, like, man, six, seven years, five, six years, give me five, six years, and I'll be here. Right, a year and a half later. Here we Manifestation. Are, like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Manifestation for you. Do you stay on the road, dude? Good things happen. Do you get nervous at all? I don't want to call it nervous because I don't know what it is. It's like I always feel it right here and I always get it in the green room. It's like my body's ready, but my mind's like, hold the f on. Yeah. Or like my mind's ready and my body's like, it's one of those two. I think it's just excitement. Papa OT, give the youth some advice, some motivation, man. Find a reason to believe in yourself and then bust ass for that reason every day. Damn right. Because okay. ain't nobody gonna do for you what you're gonna do for you. I oh, got that motivation. So an asset or who's saying, who you gonna be today? Hell yeah, like that. On the phone. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, hey. You're the freshest kid in America right now. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I feel really, uh, 
Oh, yeah. 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 We left Soundcheck to head to the hotel to chill and set up for a podcast. Which, by the way, there are many conversations there I think you might enjoy. How many pairs of cowboy boots do you have, dog? Too many. The chainsaw man? The cowboy boots for real. What guy I take it? Yeah. What is your favorite comic of all time? I like the cartoon comics. I like them. The Simpsons had a good comic book series. I remember reading books. My favorite one was Monster, because it was about this kid. Oh, I had that book. And he got sent to prison, wrong place, wrong time. He was like 13 years old or something, right? Yeah. Dude, if I went to jail and I had to join a like young teacher, just to live, just to survive, that would suck. My dad was in there solo. Really? Oh, so if you did get locked up for a while, it's you never, never, never gonna happen. Like, would you get down with somebody? With a gang? Oh, I so don't you got to do it. Oh, that's what I do. Oh, I thought you meant like when I f her do it. Oh, like, yeah, that's what like, I thought. <laughs> I, yeah, thought I thought he was talking about that too. Yeah, I thought you, no, I thought you were talking about get down with a gang like, damn, you got to join no, somebody. I thought you. he mean about fucking Oh, y'all know yeah. that. Damn. <laughs> you might go to jail for like 10 years and the dude, you were already gay. Think of it, bro. You were a virgin yeah. longer than that yeah. shit. You had some shit in your time. You mean, think about that. People stop on sitting swinging them elbows. Le bateamos ya vergasos a que andamos. El colazo es lo que representamos. Folks, we're here in Chicago. Sold out show. Mexican OT. Come on, ready to rumble, boy. It's time! I'm about to say, that's what they look like. Yeah. Shout out to Mexican OT Chicago, what's up? Now, I appreciate you for coming to show love. I appreciate you bringing nothing but peace and good energy, man. I love my time with you. Many blessings and many more to come. Me and Tommy, we end up. It's like that feeling right before you're getting into a fight, you know? Like, it's almost draining if you let it be draining, you know? But like my dad was saying, you ball that shit up and take it to the stage. Yeah. advice to you bro never mimic success that's why it never lasts that's why we have so much of the same if you think that being yourself might not work just try it because i think exactly. when i first rapping you can look at my early stages and i was i had hats on the jays i was trying to look like a rapper when i was trying to be a rapper it didn't work and then one day i was like i'm lazy i don't feel like dressing and i was being me that's what it should have to go Tommy G ain't nobody else Tommy G. I ain't never met no other Tommy G. Mm -hmm. If nobody really? believe in you, I believe in you. Hey man, I've been thinking. <laughs> About all the books I've been lately, about all the drink I've been drinking. Oh, lately I've been fucking. <laughs> you got to get on the horse or what? Let's do it. We've been busy.
Dude, you guys have been on the road, huh? Yeah, we got, we got back yesterday and then we leave again tonight. Yeah. No, I'm gonna take this up, play it, man. They gon' ask for a phone from Betty Bay. Oh, we got more, yeah, yeah. And we got a lot, yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna take this up, play it, man. They gon' ask for a phone from Betty Bay. Oh, we got more, yeah. Yeah. Put you like in a good yeah. mood. way of spinning the block. You would be a forever <laughs> legend if you fucking spun the block on this and got your opera different. <laughs> you would go down in history. You so hard hey, hard no, but then horse, we, boy. You would really would go down in history for real. Spin, spin the block, block on, on a nigga. Horse. And somebody, then, somebody gonna do it. Hello, <laughs> baby. I just see somebody bring a horse to the hood before. Let's club be a taxi. You been on the road? Yeah, shit, getting it. Somebody gotta do it. You Imagine know, that shit. Right. You've been going. Like right now, we're fucking galloping in our careers, but there's a Coming. lot of highs. Yeah. But I feel like the real things that stay are like the slow moments. Yeah, that's why I be so in a hurry to get home. You know what I'm saying? Like if we're like, you know what I'm saying, six hours or something that's doable, man, let's push that out. You got your different yeah, revenue yeah. streams right now. Are you starting to think of like, okay, how am I gonna push this into other directions? No, nah, not yet, just cause like my mind is so focused and so like tunnel vision on this rap shit. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm just focused on making music right now. Mm -hmm. I got yeah, it yeah, that's for you in the car, everywhere. come with me, I got a little something for you. Okay. What's on your mind at this stage of the game, man? Like what's, uh, what's going through your head these days? Wind, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know, to be honest, I feel a little lost lately, but not in a bad way, you know what I'm saying? I'm still getting shit done, I just... I don't know, maybe it's just a lot on at once. I think feeling lost is just a normal part of most of our life. Right? Like, when you don't feel lost, it's a lucky moment. Because <laughs> I think most of life is like, what the hell is this all about? What's so going on? Like, here. Mm -hmm. I'm putting it on right now. So very, very limited quantities were ever made. Folks, we created a very, very limited edition shirt That's for this tight. episode. Yeah, so buy it before it's sold out on my website, TommyGMcGee.com. Damn. Sick as f***. Right. Right. So you grew up country. Yeah, for sure. Then I moved to the city a little bit too. I lived in Austin, so I got a little bit of the city taste when I got uh, like around 8th grade, 7th grade. I mean, this is an unlikely place for a, a rapper to come from. You'd be surprised how many people be trying. Hey, how many people y'all think trying to rap right now out here and like this side? Yeah, 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 there you go. People look at this rap shit and they think it's just an easy way out. Man, f no, that's why the motherfuckers that are rapping with me didn't outlast me. Cause they don't work like that. Let them know. 21 yeah, bullets inside of this clip and I'm ready to unload this bitch. You a puss ass buster, I will beat you up, but I know you gon' run off a snitch. I'm a certified goon, beat him up with the boss, sweep him up the one just like a witch. I'm over there with that two, put some deep in that pool, used to pull the triggers. What do you think that brings people that do it and don't do it? Word. Word. Let me see what you did. Word. You did it. Word. For years, and look, look at him now. Biggest rap wild. I didn't know sure. what was gonna happen. I think God just put the belief in me without me knowing. Man, you did I really, it, man. I just walked into all of this, you know? You did I didn't it. even think it was gonna happen. I wasn't expecting to be where I am today. I I couldn't even imagine. What's the best Where's purchase you, you ever made? Birkenstock. Yeah, yeah you like those? They got the two straps. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We would go to parties, and I remember everybody be fresh as fuck. And we would be wearing our boot up, beat up shoes, tied up to the max gym shorts, on a plain white tee, ready to, ready to punch on something. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we just took a deep dive into the world of one of the most entertaining, interesting rappers in the game right now, Mexican OT. What's up, Do you have any final thoughts for the people? I mean, for you, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate your time. I enjoy you as a human being. I enjoy you as a friend. And I think it's always a good time when we get together. Seeing you brings back memories from Chicago, from when we first time in Houston, and it's cool as fuck to be able to reminisce on things like that. Sometimes I have trouble with being able to let things resonate with me, but you know what I'm saying? Cool memories are a lot. So first of all, it's good seeing you, Appreciate baby. You, Everybody else, I want to thank you so much for the love and support. Crazy as so, shit, where y'all are getting me. It's unreal. I keep doing what y'all do, baby. We coming to you live from West Columbia, Texas. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Yeah, man, we gotta check. I want to see one. I want to go to one of his concerts. Yeah, somewhere. me too. He's like, his energy is just out of this world. Mm -hmm. he, he's just he humble. Mm -hmm. His mindset, how he talk, everything is just like he's a positive a dude to be person. around. Yeah. Like you can feel the energy through. You can feel the authentic, authenticity, yeah. whatever it's called. <laughs> whatever it is. Through the damn computer. Yeah, you can feel that shit. Yeah, man. Shout out to Mexican OT, man. I want to see a long thing like his documentary mm -hmm. or 
What what goes on yeah, with him, man? He he big and he gonna keep getting bigger too. Get sure. bigger, man. Shout yeah, out to Mexico man. OT, man. Shout out to Tommy G. Shout out to y'all too, man. Make sure y'all throw a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel, cut that bell on. Catch y'all next. Catch y'all next one.